Hey Healing Seeker, I'm an exiled medic and I spent the last decade unraveling the mysteries of nutrition and learned the secrets to heal the body with food. Today we will unravel the mystery behind food cravings. Did you ever wonder why you suddenly crave a bar of chocolate or a bag of chips? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, not only will you understand your craving, but you'll also know how to handle them intelligently and without ruining your health. Let's start with the top 5 cravings people experience. It's chocolate and chocolate bars, it's salty snacks like chips, it's sweets and candies, it's fried foods and it's ice or ice cold drink. Each craving tells a story of the body and each craving is also a message from our body. But what are these messages? Before we go into these cravings, let me shortly explain you why our body has cravings. And if you don't want to miss me explaining more secrets of food, nutrition and health, then don't forget to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Thank you very much. Let's start with why do we crave food? The first point of those is emotional comfort. Our emotional state is intrinsically tied to our eating habits. For many, emotions like stress and anxiety and loneliness or even boredom trigger a desire for food. And not just any food, but specifically comfort foods. Try to picture this. After a long, tiring day, we are more likely to reach for a tub of ice cream or some cheesy pizza. But why? Those foods release serotonin and dopamine, a neurotransmitter that generates feelings of happiness and well-being. They are a short-term fix which creates a cycle of feeling low, eating to feel better and then often feeling low again due to our guilt or the sugar crash that follows. The second part is a sugar addiction. When we talk about addictive substances, sugar might not be the first that comes to our mind, but it should. Studies have found that sugar can stimulate the brain's reward center even more than cocaine. When you consume sugar, your brain releases dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. This pleasure rush can become addictive. However, as with most addictions, there is a huge downside. The more sugar you consume, the more you need to achieve that same dopamine high. This not only leads to more sugar consumption, but also increases the risks of health issues like obesity, type 2 diabetes and even heart disease. Beyond that, as the sugar rush wanes, it leaves behind feelings of fatigue, prompting yet another cycle of cravings, which goes on and on and on again. If you want to learn more about sugar addiction and how to slowly wean off of sugar, then please leave a follow here because I will talk more about this topic as well. The third one is hormonal fluctuations. Both men and women experience hormonal shifts throughout their lives and they can majorly influence food cravings. Women especially may notice heightened cravings before and during their menstrual cycle. This is primarily due to the fluctuation of estrogen and progesterone levels, which can affect appetite. Similarly, pregnancy, menopause and conditions like polycystic ovary symptom, also called PSOS, can also instigate specific cravings or increased appetite in general. The fourth point is external triggers. And keep on going because number five is the one that really will, will shock you the most. External triggers. Let's not forget the impact of our environment. From catchy jingles of fast food chains, alluring food photography and social media, tantalizing aromas from the bakery down the street, we're constantly surrounded by temptations. These external cues can spark cravings, even if you're not hungry. It's a mix of marketing genius and our brain's natural response to sensory stimuli. And as promised, number five. And this one we will go a little bit more into detail because it can help you immediately. It's nutrient deficiencies. This is perhaps the most fascinating reason for cravings, as it's our body's intuitive call for certain nutrients. When our diet is deficient in essential vitamins, minerals or macronutrients, our body, in its innate wisdom, finds ways to communicate its needs. For instance, craving chocolate might indicate a magnesium deficiency, while yearning for salty foods might be a sign of low sodium or chloride. Here's the twist though. While our body signals what it needs, it doesn't necessarily mean we interpret these signals correct. Modern diets and the plethora of readily available junk food mean we might satisfy these cravings in ways that aren't nutritious beneficial for us. For example, instead of eating a banana or a potato when we need potassium, we might opt for a bag of potato chips. Comfort food. The next part of our video, let's decode those cravings. What do they mean and what can we do against them? When that intense desire for a specific food hits you, it's not always a lack of self-control and willpower. It's your body's signaling what it needs. Let's dive on the common cravings. Before we start, write down in the comments below what food you crave the most and share the strategies that helped you so you can also help our whole community to grow. Let's start with number one, chocolate. Chocolate is the all-time favorite craving for many of us. If you're constantly dreaming of chocolate, this, as I already explained, might be your body signaling a magnesium deficiency. Magnesium is essential for several bodily functions, including muscle and nerve function. Most people of us are always deficient in magnesium because the soil that we grow our food on doesn't have enough magnesium anymore. So instead of reaching for that milky, sugary chocolate bar, consider satisfying this craving 
the most obvious one, with dark chocolate, which is more magnesium, or with other magnesium-rich foods, like nuts and seeds and leafy greens. You can eat, for example, cashews or walnuts. Number two is sweets. If you cannot resist candies, pastries, and sugary drinks, this craving could be hinting at a low blood sugar or a deficiency in chromium, carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, and tryptophan. What do you need to do? You need to boost your chromium levels with broccoli, grapes, and chicken. Foods that are rich in phosphorus include chicken, beef, liver, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts, legumes, and grains. For sulfur, you need cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage. And for tryptophan, turn to cheese, liver, lamb, raisins, sweet potato, and spinach. That's quite a lot of options. For me personally, I always notice that chromium deficiency is the main problem with sweet cravings. So try to satisfy the chromium first. F Number three, fried foods. Fried foods are often equated with trans fats. If you constantly long for them, it might indicate an essential fatty acid deficiency. Thankfully, you don't have to indulge in those fries. You can opt for healthier sources of fats such as avocados, nuts, seeds, or other co cold water fishes like salmon or sardines only opt for wild raised salmon by the way. If you ever find yourself craving number four which is ice cubes, this is more than just a weird quirky habit. Ice cubes most of the time point us to an iron deficiency or anemia. It's best to up your iron intake through natural sources like red meat, spinach and legumes. If the craving persists you should always consult with a healthcare professional because this might mean that you're anemic. Many vegans I talk to over these years they always crave these ice cubes and they never understand why usually it's an iron deficiency. Number four alcohol very controversial topic if you regularly crave alcohol this obviously could be a sign that you're addicted to alcohol this is its own topic we need to talk about another day it's purely the nutritional deficiency several deficiencies could point to alcohol this would be potassium protein and glutamine you can quench this in a healthy way for potassium you can use bananas sweet potatoes and oranges and for protein lean meats dairy or glutamine then consider beef chicken fish dairy and eggs number six my fingers running out salty foods chips and pretzels if you like them a little bit too much then you might be experiencing a chloride or a silicon deficiency these minerals can be found in an array of healthier foods fish goats milk and eggs are all great choices also for silicon turn to nuts seeds and whole grains number two acidic foods acidic foods which would be something like pickles or citrus fruits if you really crave them heavily this might again signal a magnesium deficiency so as mentioned earlier try to reach for foods like nuts seeds legumes even some dark chocolate number eight Carbonated drinks. If you love those fizzy carbonated drinks, this often indicates a calcium deficiency. Instead of drinking that soda, try incorporating more sesame seeds, broccoli, kale, legumes, and even mustard greens. Number nine, green tea and coffee. These beverages are beloved worldwide. They're awesome. Coffee has its own health benefits. Tea has its own health benefits. If you constantly crave them, this can still signal a nutritional deficiency, such as sulfur, salt, and iron. Try to eat more garlic, more onions, more vegetables, and also more red meat, as this balances out these deficiencies. Number 10, red meat. If you are always craving that red meat, then this again might be your body looking for iron. If you want to reduce your meat consumption because of ethical reasons, because of whatever reasons you have, then you can also get iron sources from spinach, legumes or pumpkin seeds. Keep in mind though, if you need more iron and you want to get it from a plant source, then you always need to combine that plant non-heme iron together with vitamin C sources, so anything like oranges or lemons, because this drastically improves the absorption of the iron. So always combine plant iron with vitamin C. Number 11, and soon we're done with those, uh, it's breads and toasts. If you yearn for breads and toasts and carbs specifically, this might mean your body needs more nitrogen. So eat high protein foods such as fish and meat and nuts and beans. They all satisfy those cravings. Number 12, cheese. I love cheese, but you should only eat good cheese. If your body constantly craves cheese, this means you need some essential fatty acids and calcium. Try to opt for flax seeds, eat more chia seeds, eat more walnuts, eat more leafy greens. They're all great to satisfy these cravings. Number 14, creamy foods. If you crave something creamy with a creamy texture like ice cream, this might be again your body needing calcium and magnesium. So incorporate more dairy, more nuts and more legumes. And number 14, spicy food. If you always urge for spicy foods, this indicates a zinc or a sulfur deficiency. So try to incorporate foods such as nuts, seeds or cruciferous vegetables. In the end, understanding and addressing these cravings with nutrient-rich alternatives not only promotes better health and healing, but it also breaks the cycle of unhealthy eating patterns for you. When you tune into your bodies and address your needs with those wholesome choices, we will embark on the journey of holistic well-being. So please save this video, watch it later, you can also take your pause, take your notes. Understanding those cravings is really empowering. Instead of feeling guilty and having resistance, you can now respond with intelligence and self-care. Your body is constantly communicating with you. It's just about learning its language. If this video enlightened you, please hit the like button, 
Also share it with your friends and subscribe for more health insights. Also comment down below which cravings revelation surprised you the most. What food are you craving and what are you trying to do? What is your strategy now? Let's journey all together to optimal health. See you next time. Excited Medic.